Let's, let's start up and I'll introduce the winter 2016 class. Starting with one company that's changing driving for everyone and making it safer, I'd like to introduce Andy Caruza from Fensense. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Andy Caruza, and I'm the uh, CEO of Fensense. And today, I'm here to introduce you to a revolutionary new product that's going to make parking safe and simple. Currently, 80% of the drivers on the road today cannot see behind them when they're trying to park. This leads to over $6 billion in yearly damage in the US, 15,000 injuries, and unfortunately, 50 children die every single week. So we decided to do something about it. Introducing FenseSense, the world's first smart parking device. It's designed just like any license plate frame, except it has sensors built into it, connecting directly with the driver's phone, providing hands-free, instant alerts uh, via audio, visual, and vibration feedback for objects in the car's blind spots. We know today's consumer wants products to work right out of the box without the fussy setup. So we designed this to be the simplest and the easiest solution on the market today, uh, able for anybody to be able to install themselves in less than five minutes with only four screws and absolutely no wiring. The app launches automatically on the driver's phone through a patented process uh, when, the, when the device detects uh, the car moving backwards. Alternative options on the market today are very bleak. It could cost several thousand dollars to go to a dealership and have it installed. If you're going into the aftermarket, you're going to have to wire it yourself with an aftermarket kit, typically taking up to three hours and having to place an additional LCD monitor in the car. Most people who can't even change their oil these days would resort to hiring a professional for this, starting at $300 on Amazon, going up over $1,000 with most professionals to install this type, of, uh, this type of setup on your car. Needless to say, uh, the average driver is not going to spend 10 to 20 percent of their vehicle value on one feature alone. As such, we believe uh, this is the reason why this and many more great new car technologies have not been adopted in the aftermarket, and so we're going to make them wireless. Uh, currently, we see 1.8 million rear-end incidents every single year. However, the National Highway Transportation Safety Association says 57 percent of these could be easily avoided with a backup sensor or parking camera. There's 220 million cars in the U.S. that cannot see behind them when they're driving every day on our roads, over 800 million worldwide. We decided to focus our uh, initial go-to market on a subset audience of 31 million consumers. Although it's interesting to note that this is increasing by 20 percent every single year as demand for this technology increases in the aftermarket. Meet Bob. He's our typical fence sense user trying to park his car without the help of parking sensors. Much to the embarrassment of the kid in the back, he backs into the car behind him. This is going to cost him three to $9,000 to fix it. Don't be like Bob. Get a fence sense. <laughs> uh, student drivers everywhere need fence sense to give their parents peace of mind to know that they're out on the roads driving safe from day one. Commercial fleet vehicles need fence sense because traffic incidents are the number one cause of death in the workplace, according to OSHA. And also, there's over $4 billion in commercial damage every single year. Our competition is too expensive, too difficult to install, too difficult to use, and lacks features. Our business model is simple. We plan to sell the product for $150 online and also in retail stores. We recently announced our PR campaign last week and have retail and distribution interests from over 100 countries around the world in less than one week. Uh, we also plan on selling in bulk to commercial fleet companies to help increase driver safety and decrease corporate liabilities. Lastly, we plan on developing a platform uh, API to enable cars and sensors to communicate with each other through apps. We won first place at Startup Weekend when the product was first conceived. Uh, we're in the Verizon Innovation Program today and have a ready for manufacturing prototype. Uh, we also announced our PR campaign last week, as I mentioned, ending up in CNET, Gizmodo, Verge, Motor Trend, and thousands of other website publications, generating over 4,000 pre-order signups in less than 48 hours in retail interests and signed LOIs from over 100 countries around the world. Our team has the experience and the know-how to make this product a success. We have designed and delivered consumer electronics and software for some of the top brands in the world. And today, we're raising $400,000 to help make this vision even bigger than it is already today. We plan to use the product to manufacture the first run and convert our five provisional patents to full utility patents to protect the IP for the business in the long run. Thank you uh, for coming in tonight. If you have any questions or would like to see a demonstration, please stop by our booth in the back, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, it's right by the bar in case you guys missed it. <laughs> Thank you once again. Please drive safely tonight.